Isn't he magnificent? I guess. Tired of the same old monuments? At this year's Founders Day Parade, we will unveil our new state-of-the-art statue of Jebediah Springfield. Billy? Wow! He's so interactive! Here's a coupon for... You see the statue? Please, Please Dad, Dad, can we, can we, can we? It's not gonna be as good as you think. This is my favorite part of the parade. Hey, jerky! Get your parade, jerky! Beef, turkey, or pork? It all tastes like a delicious shoot. Parade is the new Jebediah Springfield statue that local wags have already dubbed Quimby's Folly. Brand new SWAT tank. This expensive urban pacification vehicle was funded by Homeland Security. Oh, Springfield's true heroes are Volunteer Fire Department. Wait, what? <laughs> Grand Theft Thunder. <gasps> <laughs> All right. You pull sliders ass for it. <laughs> they're, they're coming at us. Release our fiercest weapon, foam. <laughs> We're headed for the Quickie Mart. Someone call the police. Before I die, I would like to know just what is in these nudie mar- There is a god. Aha! Uh-huh. Like a rumba. There's only one other way. You have to promise never to prank again. Mm, Apu, it's good to see you doing so well. Oh, face it. Our store is ruined. This is painful, but I no longer want our customers to come again. Given my share of the store to my son, Jamshed, he will rebuild while you recuperate. Little Jamshed? It is down to just you and me now, store. Together, nothing can stop us. There. We gave him one last look at it. Roll away the photo! Weekend fresh. Bitch slapped your Quickie Mart into the 21st century. An upgrade? No! (sighs) Check it out, Uncle A. I made this place healthy. I know my customers. All they want is something they can eat while driving. I'd like a heat lamp, dog, please. (laughs) Mmm! Oh. <laughs> See? He doesn't care what he eats. He just eats things in that location. Don't forget, my dad owned more of this place than you did. I saw the whole jam from my seat on top of the ATM machine. Paid for ticket. And all the rest were losers. They say don't scrape where you eat, but... He scratched and scratched using. Each time, he paid my dad back with another piece of the store. Chalmers is sunbathing nude under a beehive. Sorry, man. I'm retired. And thank God the Department of Homeland Security financed this cherry picker to detangle the flag. Extend, extend. Yep, you're officially Springfield's bad boy now. And I am up to the task. <laughs> Dad, check out this A I got in citizenship. Sorry, boy. Late for dinner. Hmm. I know exactly how you feel, Bart. Another K. Hey, another Chianti, please. Uh, maybe you should slow down a little. Please, don't make a scene. <laughs> but if you do, bring back bread. Oh, hey, Uncle. Aren't you going to introduce me to your friends? What are you, embarrassed by me? You're my uncle, bro, and I love you, but you're a stereotype, man. And, and I say that you are a stereotype. All you do is spout stupid hipster buzzwords. Swipe left on that accusation. Love you, man, but you're fired. Faux ever. Mm. Boy's no good, right? Not much. Now, why don't you ask him to pull a prank to help our poo turn his nice new store here back into a rat hole? Listen, boy, I need you to do a prank for our poo. I don't get it, man. You told me to stop pranking, and I did. And you know what? I don't miss it. I realized I made a big mistake. I like the new well-behaved you. I can stop saving up for that house near the prison. <laughs> now I've awoken a monster. My return to prankdom is elegant in its simplicity. All we do is cut the power in the store for 30 seconds. No! Now to remove all signs of our presence. I am sorry, nephew. I was jealous, and karma has exacted a terrible price. That's two dollars. I have nothing to scratch it with. Use me, Apu. It is a winner! And it is so much money! Which means so many more tickets! 
Precious, precious ticket. My store back, my friend. I have something very, very special for you, my friend. This is the legendary Jumbo Golden Squishy Cup. <laughs> this time it's because I let Ralph drive. I thought it was pretend. <laughs> Does anyone else want to know why that sign is so funny? No. no. <laughs> Stupid prey. They never suspect anything. They're... Woo, a hot dog! <laughs> That's odd. It's 11.15 in the morning and the bar is empty. I'm live at the Springfield Botanical Gardens where we're minutes away from the blossoming of the Sumatran century flower. And who can blame them? Mm. Huh? No point in moping around. Might as well join them and have a jolly old time. <laughs> uh, people, we are officially over capacity. We gotta kick one person out. Sorry, Mo. You can either walk out with dignity or I can push you down this muddy hill. I'd prefer that you push me, seeing how I'm desperate for any human contact. All right, thanks a lot. Everyone, flare your nostrils in old factory anticipation. Ay, 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 que flora malodorosa. Oh, that smells worse than James Coco's ski boots. Listen to those lucky people enjoying that pretty flower. I got nothing. Well, at least we're outside instead of sitting home watching TV. I hear that. Hey, that car has a TV in it. Oh, Granny. Can you put on a baseball game? Yeah, the traffic's moving. Mm -hmm. Woohoo! Pedal to the metal! <laughs> My baby! Well, this is it. The last call for Mo. Doc! <laughs> oh, God! Wow! <laughs> Life don't seem so hard no more. Hey, I was in the neighborhood and uh, thought I'd, you know, check in on Maggie. Mo, I'm glad you're here. I wanted to thank you so much for saving my baby. So, how's the little tyke doing? <laughs> oh my god, I'm late for work. <laughs> How you got in my carpool, I'll never know. I'm Speedy Alka-Seltzer! Whoa! <laughs> Mo, I gotta handle this. Can you keep an eye on Maggie? Take a look at this. <laughs> It was years before I could do this without fainting. Uh, <laughs> still hurts. Hey, Mag, Raggedy Andy over there has been giving you the button eye. I'll get rid of him. All right, come on, out you go. Huh, I finally caught up with Grandpa. Yay! Wow, she really likes you. Maybe the next time I need a sitter and you're not busy? I I'd love to. Uh, uh, let me just check my schedule here. Oh, that's right. I still got a nose. Here you go, you little idiot. Ball pit. That's nice. Way to go, Mom. Homemade dim sum with eight kinds of dipping sauce. This is the best year of the rat ever. Well, I have so much free time now that Mo's our babysitter. Maggie, look what's in your ear. A penny. <laughs> okay. We won't tell no one about that. Hmm. Alice in Wonderland, huh? Ah, oh, this must be a takeoff on that Alice in Underpants movie I saw. <laughs> this is like the Playboy Mansion. Uh, maybe I can think of a story uh, more suitable for a baby. Oh, I got one. It starts out with a beautiful wedding. But the father of the bride was nowhere to be seen. He was granting favors to all of his bestest buddies. The godfather's playing with his grandson, see? So he, he sticks an orange in his mouth, like this. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> okay, Mo Green, bam! 
Sam. He gets it right in the eye. And Michael is now the new godfather. Part two. Little Anthony is having his first communion at Lake Tahoe. Meanwhile, Michael can't get a gaming license. But Senator Geary's got one weakness. Call girls. Oh, there she is, the birthday girl. Oh, your mommy tied a bow for you, huh? Oh, I'd better retire it the way you like it. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, a rattle. <laughs> Thank you, Selma. Yeah, great present, Selma. Nice of you to break a five. <sighs> Get a neck, Frankenstein. I don't know if toy drunkards are an appropriate gift for a baby. Sure they are. They even talk. Look. I feed my pants. I recorded that for private use. Hey, 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 Oshkosh Bagosh. She don't want what you're shoveling. Mr. Moore, my son was only playing next to this girl who is not your daughter. Maggie wants to be with me. <laughs> your turn. No, it's your turn. I got it. It's okay. You have your own baby monitor in our child's room? Well, can I at least give it his mobile? Huh? Huh? Get your own family, Mo. Hey, you never cared about Maggie till I started paying attention to her. Get out. Get out that... that... Okay. Ugh, maybe I can catch a late show of Alice in Underpants. Or maybe put him on the looking glass. Here comes the airplane. All gone. Toys and kicks and pets and brotherhood. <laughs> Tonight, I want you boys to take out the Castellaneta family. Perhaps this will cheer you up. It must have been Mo. He's got your kid, but don't worry. Everything is going to be okay. Ah! Scum, freeze bag. Chief, it's just a ham. Oh, thank goodness. Well, boys, looks like we solved the case of the missing ham. Let's go. No, we have to find my baby. Oh, Maggie's missing? It looks like Maggie crawled through these bushes, spit up over here, and crashed her tricycle into the wall. Marge, do mobsters ever congregate outside your house? All the time. Sometimes I bring them lemonade. Listen, I think we might have to make a trip to Little Italy. I'll get our little passport. Oops. Clumsy me. I will consider your proposal in the restroom as I tidy up. Oh, Bambino. How is it a Bambina? I know speak any language so good. We have considered your proposal, and our answer is no. <gasps> Maggie's right in the middle of that Italian-American-Mexican standoff. Oh, my God, I gotta save her. No, you got a family. I'm the guy with nothing and no one. Gee, <laughs> look at her. Ain't she a doll? <laughs> Here's your baby back. Thanks, Mo. I'm sorry we thought you were a baby napper. Or worse, am I right? Uh, hey, hey, the important thing is, little Maggie is safe. I just ordered my wife the greatest anniversary present. A koi pond. A koi pond? You got this husband thing down, Homer. Yeah, you must be some kind of marriage super genius. How about a few tips? Hmm. This'll really help with my speed dating. I got 400 no's. Happy anniversary, Marge. <gasps> A koi pond. How much money did he piss away on this? Ah! What the hell is that noise? The caterpillar is screaming. Ah! Hold it right there, Dr. Foot. You're about to kill an endangered species, the scream pillar Mr. Simpson, allowing an endangered species to die is a federal offense under the Reversal of Freedoms Act of 1994. Without constant reassurance, it will die. It's sexually attracted to fire. Are you sure God doesn't want it to be dead? Ah! 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 Oh, fine. 
no, go back to the beginning. <gasps> oh no! I crushed that horrible bug! <laughs> Stop what you're- Well, uh, the thing about that is, uh... <gasps> Woohoo! He's alive! <laughs> I sentence you to 200 hours of community service. Don't! Oh! Lousy community service. Meals on wheels. Eat it up or I go to jail. Let you leave now. Ah! Don't kill me. I won't tell anyone about the skeleton, and I could bring you more victims. Like Lenny. Don't be silly. I just use that to chop through those tough meals on wheels steaks. Threw the Super Bowl so hard it hit the ceiling twice, then broke a lamp. <laughs> Go, would you mind opening this jar of butter pickles? My pleasure. Oh, a wonder. Can I call you the next time I need a muscular He-Man? Hi, Mrs. Bellamy. No, I'm not doing anything. I can mow your lawn. Cover for me. Ah! <laughs> Da! <laughs> Making advantage of you, and we need you to do things around here. The oven light is out, and you never finish filling up the aquarium. Family needs him, too. And that's that. I've left of my Chester is his tattered old army jacket. Hmm. Well, let me sew that up for you. <laughs> Freshen your drinks, ladies. Laxative? Oh, yeah. I am so sick of doing her dirty work. She's taking advantage of us, Homer. Are you all right? Uh, that man took my diamond necklace. <laughs> oh, my gosh. She's dead. This man with braces just stabbed the old lady and disappeared. Without a trace. I'd like to thank you both for cooperating with our... Did you do it? Chief Wiggum, Homer and I are innocent. I'm sorry, Marge. I respect her disgruntled servants, Homer and Marge Simpson. Hmm? Top suspects. Oh, dear. Think Homer could be a killer? I just can't believe a man we sat and drank with all these years could do such a horrible thing. Oh, man, what a day. I'd kill for a beer. <gasps> Uh, right away, sir. I, I I don't want no trouble. I'll kill you if you don't give me some peanuts. Here he, he, he you go, mister. <clears throat> hey, man. This is ridiculous. You better get in here. Mrs. Bellamy's necklace! Think again, dirtbag. Because I can just swipe it later from the evidence locker. I can't believe we've been arrested for murder. Don't worry, Marge. I'll cut us a deal by becoming a jailhouse snitch. Youngins, meet your new brother and sister. Days worth five dollars a day, county money. They hated the victim. Her death earned them $50,000, and the necklace was found in their home. Homer and Marge Simpson, I sentence you to death in the electric chair. We appreciate your coming to comfort us, but we're not careful. You're not oh, don't, oh, 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 oh. Come on, you Satan! Can you have such an appetite at a time like this? Let's just say I'm planning a little surprise for the execution. Our cells are side by side. Mm, it's hard to get in the mood with all those murderous eyes staring at us. <laughs> I want to confess. I killed and robbed the old lady all by myself. Marge is completely innocent. My love, you saved my life. Now you... Do it for me. Give me your hands, boss. 
kill you! I'll kill them other people! I'm gonna kill you too! Hello? Yes, Governor! The Governor says he hopes you're a Twitcher! Oh, yes! Oh? <laughs> Goodbye, March. You're on frame up! Oh, what? Now, let's meet a ghost! Mrs. Bellamy? There never was a Mrs. Bellamy. Only me! This whole thing was a joke? Oh, I've never been so relieved! Relieved and angry! Eddie and Lou have producer credits? Yep. Now, what are your last names? Uh, we don't have them. Mom, Dad, thank God you're okay. We were in the green room. I had so much shrimp. Going with a human life for TV ratings. Uh, Homer, my face is up here. I've made my choice. 